Hey, this is Stefan for Raw Exchange, and today I'm going to show you how to create this burning skin effect. This burning skin effect is very, very easy to do, and it's also a very fast process. And I will use two texture packages from Raw Exchange, but first let's open the raw file. So um, this is from the practice package number five, and I'm going to uh, change the exposure and the uh, uh, temperature a little bit so it's a little bit darker and then I just open this image. So what I'm going to use is an overlay of the trees package. The trees package is a very large package with um, well structure of trees and um, all kinds of structures and um, I'm going to use something like that and I just paste it over the model. I have to resize it a little bit, so make it a little bit smaller. So, and I just paste it here, change the opacity a little bit, so I can see where I, um, where to put the, the texture. So, like this one, yeah, I like it that way. So, and I create a mask by clicking on that mask icon, and I paint with a black brush on that mask. So I'm using a black brush because I um, paint on all the structure I want to keep and then I invert the mask so I can see better what I'm going to use and what, I'm, uh, what I don't want to use. So then I invert the mask with command I or um, on PC is um, um, control I. And so I have this uh, texture here on the skin. Um, what I'm going to do now is I change the, um, the blending mode to something that creates a good, well, a good texture without messing up the skin too much. This is looking nice for me, but I think I'm going to use uh, levels to change the exposure a little bit and of course, I have to click on this little clipping um, icon, so it just affects the uh, the cracks or the tree texture and not the model. And then I'm just blending this a little bit, yeah, like this, it's looking good. And I'm duplicating this layer and put it above all the other layers and put it back to normal. So what I'm going to do is I create a layer out of this. Um, I opened this as a smart object because when I drag it into Photoshop, it's just a smart object. So I, the first thing I have to do is rasterize the, um, the layer. And then I can click, do a right click on the mask and say apply layer mask. So now this is a normal layer and I can go to the channels and I can create by command click on the thumbnail, I can create a luminosity mask. And this luminosity mask will, I will use it for, um, uh, for a group here. So I'm creating a group and I cl click on the uh, little mask icon here. The, um, because of the active selection, I will create a mask for this and this one, I can throw this one away. So now back to my, to the second package I'm using. So let's make this a clipping layer again. So I'm back to the second uh, package I'm using. Um, it's the Inferno package and I'm gonna use um, just, uh, well, you see, this is a very, very exciting package and I use one of these rich textures here and I just put it in that group. So by putting it in that group, it gets um, masked by that group and I have to invert this, um, this layer mask. And so everything that's black gets um, affected by that group. So um, this mask is not perfect, so I'm going to use a levels on that 
and so we can just change the um, change the levels the middle slider until it fits in that correct thingy here so I can make it uh, brighter or darker and I can also uh, move this until I like the um, um, the texture and the colors. So one thing is weird and this is it's kind of flat here so what I'm gonna use is a drop shadow to create some depth here. So I go to blending options and I just create a drop shadow put everything to zero and well the light comes from top uh, right so I put this on the um, bottom left and then I can just create a little shadow here make it a little bit darker so and come back with the size so that looks good for me so and so this is now a little bit um, the, the skin has some thickness so if I think this is too much well here it is a little bit too much for my taste so I create a layer mask on that layer with the fire or with the inferno and I just use a black brush and take this away where I don't like it. I can also use this to make the dark parts a little bit darker or I can well bring it back by painting with white on it. So this is the um, Halloween um, effect. This is very a very quick effect and it's very powerful. I mean, this is um, within minutes you can create awesome stuff and I think you can also use the complete uh, skin if you want um, and make it everywhere, apply it everywhere. And this is very, very exciting. So I hope you had some fun. This was Stefan for Raw Exchange. Have a nice day. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one, and you can subscribe to us down here.